Welcome to the Hydraulic Press channel after eight years of waiting. Today is the day when we try to crush these balls. They are ceramic bearing balls and we have tried to crush them, shoot them with no luck. But today all that is going to change, hopefully. With our 300 ton press we are going to crush the shit out of them. But before that I have this highly accurate scientific setup here. We are going to test like whole ceramic bearing, ball bearing, not just the balls, the whole thing. And we have here the same size steel ball bearing. And with this super nice rig, we can finally load them in proper way to test their maximum axial loading. So there is the axel and the bearing housing, everything is like on real thing. So this is not like just crushing them for like shit and giggles. This is almost science. And if you wanna see more high-tech almost science videos, I can happily say that these are sent us by Stanford Advanced Materials. They have amazing collection of advanced materials and other really interesting stuff. And they asked, would we like to crush something from their website? And I have this and one other video coming, but go check out the websites. There is so much interesting items and materials that I had hard time on choosing what to try. And if you have any cool ideas what we should try from their collection, please let me know and I can ask do they want to do more videos. And ceramic ball bearings are quite rare. They're a bit more expensive or quite much more expensive, but they're lighter. They last longer on some conditions and they don't conduct electricity, which is really good on sometimes. Sometimes there's like electric currents on motors that weld the like regular steel ball bearings and ceramic ones don't do that. Okay, we are ready to go. And how many kilos? This is the ceramic one. Hmm. I have no idea. I haven't checked the rated, rate, rated rating. Is it rated rating? I don't know. <laughs> I think it's just a rating. <laughs> Maybe rating. Yeah, rating. Uh, I say that the shit is going to start to fly around two tons, hopefully, because uh -huh. I think around five tons our axle is gone. It's broken already. Yeah. The uh, outer ring cracked. I think we crush it more. Yeah, it's let's broken. Crush more, I think so. How much was it? It was probably 350 kilos. <laughs> okay, let's let's, let's finish see it off. What happens. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like sand. Uh, but let's let's try the next one. Steel. Steel. I can I can I say that this is going to at least 1.5 tons. Mm-hmm. This is going to be hard. Poten potentially also a bit dangerous. <laughs> Oh my oh, god! Oh, what? Oh no! Now it broke! Whoa. And like, check this. Oh, uh -huh. it the, bent at the whole axle. The axle is bent. This is like caved in. Yeah. But it's also broken. Mm. I think it might be even better if we would have like bigger housing for it. I think now we generate, generated point load on one point of the bearing, but that's a surprise mm -hmm. because, because these, these balls, these are hard AF. I can, I can tell you the story. These here, the like spots, mm -hmm. and that there also, and that, they are 308 rifle shots. Mm. Don't do shit. <laughs> no. So, 
Time for the 300 tonner. Okay, there it is. And I machined the new tools, especially for this moment. They are not hardened, but they are really, really strong steel. And there is two options. Two options. The ball is going to break, or it's going to sink into the tools. And look at it. It's a quite large. That size of ball doesn't go into high strength steel without a fight. Mm. And if it's going to fail, it's going to make like supersonic supernova <laughs> of sand. And it's going to go in like one level, it's my theory. Like here. And the camera is now on that level. So we don't want that. So I'm going to I'm going to lift our camera out from the harm's way. And then we might make a black hole. Yeah, that's also one possibility. Yeah, you can nicely see from here, but now the camera is safe. Yeah, we can see it really nicely here. That's good, good, good camera positioning. I think the microphone doesn't mind. No. Whew. Uh, what, what is your opinion? Is I, it going to go? I, oh, I think it's going to sink there. No explosion. No explosion. I think we are I'm still terrified. I think we are going to break it. Okay. But I don't like this. That I can say. You don't like this either, probably. Mm -mm. Yeah, here we go. Okay, I have to press on full power, medium speed. Screen is recording. Here we go. Uh, holy shit. <gasps> wow! Surprisingly easy. Yeah. Huh. Eight years of agony is gone. Yeah. And it, it didn't turn into like, I was afraid that it's going to turn into like dust, but it's in relatively large pieces. Yeah, there isn't like super amount of dust. Mm -hmm. And uh, this material isn't like any super toxic. It can irritate your lungs if you breathe a lot, but it seems that there isn't much of at all air air, dust. It's like in relatively large pieces, like this. Mm -hmm. Hey, did we broke the camera? No, nothing hit the camera. I was right. The, the GoPro has been broken like long time already. How about the... Uh, the tools. Come film the crater. Cool. There is like a decent hole. Yeah. And the upper tool. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. It exploded. Let's go have a look on the high speed. Yeah. It 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 goes like just like uh, I said, mm -hmm. like pff, plane of death. And as long as the camera is top of that, you're going to be okay. And we have one ball left. Ooh. They said that. Balls. If you have just one ball, it's enough. But enough for what? Please let us know what we should do with this one. Mm. I think we are not going to crush it. We have to do something different. Yeah, and go check the... <laughs> the Stanford something. Stanford something, I don't remember the whole name. And that is all for today. Thank you for watching. And have a nice day. <laughs>